Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we will blink the LED of CC3200 board from my internet. Means you can program your board such that you can control your board from anywhere over the internet. For the testing purpose, we will blink the LED of CC3200 board. It will be using a very simple HTTPS protocol to send and receive the data from your web browser. So here we are going to use Energia version 18. So it has lots of already example programs. So I am going to select the example and into the example come to the Wi-Fi and into the Wi-Fi you have to come to the simple web server Wi-Fi first of all that you have to give Wi-Fi SSID I am using Wi-Fi SSID let's see here connect my computer with the internet just wait for me now the password is 1234 sorry 1234567789 and then connect it Okay, and the password is 12345678. Let me change the password here. Okay, so the Wi Fi server is started at port number 80, and let's change the serial is 9600 baud rate. The red LED will blink. Now, I don't think we need to change anything in this code. Okay, I'll explain this code later. Now, let's first upload this code to the CC3200. So, here it is connected with the internet. Now, we need to open a web browser and then we need to enter the IP address. So, here is the IP address. Okay. So, just go to the this IP address to control the board. Now here it is telling welcome to the CC3200 Wi-Fi web server and uh, high and low. Fine. Now if you click high, then uh, you would be able to see red LED will have be on and if you press the low now it go off high low high low fine now let me explain you how it is working first of all that it initializes the serial port and then it is connected with the Wi-Fi and after that, it uh, acquired the local IP address of the board. Then it printed this IP address onto the console so that uh, we can connect with the board. And finally, onto the loop, it is while one. Here, it is listening for an incoming connection. That means it will accept a connection from anywhere across the world over the internet. And then it will print on the console key we have found the new client. And if client is connected and if client is available, okay, it will read the client and it will find if it is new line, that means the new byte is coming. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, it will print what it is received and then it sends this data, it posts client.println that is the energy cc 3200 wi-fi web server and it is means uh, uh, html uh, coding okay nothing more than that so it is just html coding client.println means it is posting the data over the http and uh, if it receives h it make a LED high and it receives H, it make a LED low.
so that's all if you want to uh, send uh, something else other than h so here it is h if you press the button it is telling button on click okay it is sending the h so if you change this h it will send something else you can send one and zero okay so thank you so much for watching this video tutorial and i have demonstrated you how to control your led over the internet thanks for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for more tutorials